Hello people from the interwebs. We are in festive season, hence I look like a disco ball. And I know you're going to ask, so it's all going to be linked down below in the description. So today I'm coming to you with a new exciting video. I know some of you might be like, listen girl, we've seen it all. We're not interested anymore, but you're here and you're watching. So you are secretly interested. So anyways, let's get into the business. So anyways, my name is Anita and today I'm going to show you my new bag. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Follow me on social media. It's all linked down below. I promise you're going to love my content almost as much as I love my disco ball outfit. So it is festive season and you know what usually happens is your Hermes wishes come true for Christmas. Yes, if you make a wish, I would say there's about 90% chances that your wish is going to come true in around Christmas time because that's how it works. That's what they do. They want to make people happy for Christmas. So without further ado, I present to you Whoa, my Christmas wish that just came true. It's a decent size. So it is going to be one of those bags that some of you are going to love and some of you are going to be like, girl, you're actually mad. But if you follow me on social media, this is not going to be a surprise for you whatsoever. Not only am I going to open my bag and show it to you, I am also going to do a little bit of let's just say educational, this is going to be educational video in regards to unpopular bags, letters and opinions about Hermes. So if you're into that kind of stuff, keep on watching. But hey, nobody cares. So let's just open the bag. This is she. I'm going to say that this is almost my dream bag. Let's do it. The lid is out. <gasps> so this is your opportunity. If you're into this whole guessing game, pause the video and comment down below on what you think I've got. A hint, not popular. Mm -mm. No, no, it's not for everybody. Just saying. At this point, we have guessed that this isn't a Constance nor it isn't a mini Kelly. So that probably leaves us with two possible handbags, which would be a Kelly or a Birkin. Which one is it? You tell me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present you my almost dream bag. Ta-da! I'm going to remove the belt and I'm going to talk to you about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you in its full glory, Birkin 25 in cellular in box leather. Can you see that shine? Holy maloney. So basically, I'm going to go through the specifics of this bag. Why do I keep saying it's almost my dream bag? Because a long time ago, I went into Hermes in Warsaw and I saw a lady who, by the way, turned out to be Magda Butrim, who I didn't know how she looks like, so I didn't realize at the time. But then she messaged me and I knew it was her. Anyways, I saw a lady with a box Birkin 35 and I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God, I need to have this bag. This was probably about a year ago or something like that. And ever since my absolute dream bag was Birkin 30. Sorry, she had Birkin 30, not 35. I can't remember what I said. So my dream bag was Birkin 30 in box letter, ideally with Palladium hardware, although she had gold, but I really wanted Palladium really. I mean, I wouldn't care that much. It could have been in gold. So of course, what did I do? Immediately went to my SA, who actually I was sitting with in the store at the time. And I said, holy moly, this is my dream bag. I really want this bag. So obviously we've organized a wish and I was just waiting. And here's the thing, box bags, they're not really that popular. When you ask the average person who's waiting for their bag, who made a wish, they are looking for Kelly in Epsom or Kelly in Togo or a Birkin in Togo. Like Togo and Epsom are the most popular letter. Nobody wants box because they're all like, oh my God, like I'm just gonna scratch it in three minutes. No, you won't, but we will get into that. So anyways, long story short, why Birkin 30? I don't actually have a Birkin 30. I know it's embarrassing. I do not have Birkin 30. I have 25s and I have 35, which by the way, 35 is now my kind of favorite size, you know, the big bag energy kind of situation. So I really wanted to get the middle girl, the 30, but I didn't yet. And being completely honest with you, I would not really want a cellular Birkin. Like I was never into cellular Birkin. I was like, mm, it's a thing. 
but you know when you get offered a box 25 cellular in your absolutely favorite type of letter you can kind of compromise and that's what I did so anyways let's talk about this bag and I'm going to tell you quite a few specific things in regards to one Birkin in cellular and two Birkin in box letter so first of all let's go through the specifics of this bag which I'm pretty sure I mentioned already but I'm going to say it twice I guess so this is Birkin 25 in box letter with palladium hardware and the stitching style is cellular and the first point I'm going to make will be in regards to actual box letter people are afraid of box letter nobody wants box letter because they think oh my god I'm just gonna ruin the handbag straight away it's gonna be scratched it's gonna be ruined and I don't want that I want durable letter well let me tell you this thing box letter is one of the most durable letters there is yes the scratches will be visible in fact when you touch your face and you're wearing makeup you're gonna have the makeup fingers all over that smooth letter because the letter as you can see it's shiny it's smooth doesn't have a grain so it just kind of stays like that but obviously that comes off super easily all you have to do is just kind of wipe it off so not a problem the second thing in regards to letter would be that it doesn't tend to lose its shape that quickly so you know what sometimes people complain about their Birkins, Kelly's kind of like, you know, slouching and losing the shape. And by the way, I absolutely love and adore this kind of slouchy, kind of worn out, I don't really care that much kind of look of your bag. So the point number two that I'm going to make in regards to box leather is that it really keeps the shape of the bag. Like I have so many bags in box leather, majority of them are vintage and the, the, the structure, the shape, it's still there. Of course, they will be kind of slouching a little bit, but like, I mean, it's nothing in comparison to like a togo well obviously your epsom letter is not really going to slouch usually epsom bags are um, also in cellular style so it's a different kind of cup of tea but that's all i want to say in regards to letter i absolutely love box letter oh actually no there's one more thing i don't know if this is a fact but this is just my observation and something that i've noticed it might not be true but I strongly believe that the box letter, the current box letter that you can get in the stores is not the same box letter that you could get in the store back in the day. Why am I saying that? Because I do own a lot of bags, vintage bags in box letter and that letter feels different. It is not as stiff and not as structured, if you know what I mean. But that could be also due to the fact that these bags are like 10, 20, 30 years old and they have been used and they're more like kind of flexible. Yeah. Just saying. Right, so we went through the letter, now let's go to this whole cellular style. This is my first, and I'm just kind of, go, never say never, but I'm gonna say the last Birkin that I will have in cellular style. Like I said, I'm not really into the whole cellular style, but the things that I have noticed, the differences that I have noticed in regards to the shape of a Birkin in cellular versus Retourne are as follows. Again, the back in cellular is more structured and more stiff. You can see, like, it's not really, it's not really, I could, like, beat people up with this bag. It's like, it's like a suitcase, you know? I could, like, basically just, like, hey, don't mess me. And they're, like, knocked out. So the cellular style will make the bag way more structured. And, like, in my personal opinion, this isn't a day bag. This is more like I'm going out to a dinner kind of bag. I think it makes the bag more formal, if you know what I mean. And that's probably all I could say in regards to cellular style. So now let's talk about cellular Birkin in box letter combination. I don't know if you've noticed, but you see this angles, they're not really moving much. There is a reason for it. The bag is extremely stiff. Like, I mean, it's extremely stiff like it's super it's it's super difficult to kind of like get things and out from it I mean you just keep it like that and you like I will never close this bag so you know when I wear my Birkin in Togo or in Swift and I go to town and my bag is open and I'm kind of like you know trying not to get robbed I guess because obviously it's so easy to access your items from inside the bag I just use this thing and I put see what I mean with this you can't even do that like it's kind of like a croc if you ever kind of played with croc croc is really really stiff and this letter feels exactly the same do you know what i mean like it is possible to close it i just i can't be like wait Whew. 
I see, I did it. It's possible. But it's like you need two hands and a lot of strength. Thankfully, I go to the gym. So, yeah. So, I guess the point I was trying to make is that... I don't think this is going to be my daily bag because I would absolutely go mental if I had to like, you know, close the flap and protect my goods inside. And it's just so very, very difficult to do so. So we talked about the letter. We talked about the salier style. So with stitching style, let's talk about the hardware. So hardware on this bag is Palladium. And when they rang me, they said they have box, Birkin for me and they never said anything about the hardware so I swear to you the whole way into the store I was like please dear god let it be palladium I don't know I'm just really into palladium right now I think it's like with the whole kind of like cool rock chick kind of scenario I, th I think it also gives the bag a bit a uh, bit more of this kind of young feel I think if this bag was with gold hardware it would be very ladylike and I think this the palladium hardware really breaks it up and breaks its kind of structure and the look and the form formality of it is that even the word that people speak English like this I don't know so this is my latest bag and I, I do love it I absolutely love it. Like I said, almost my dream bag. I'm still aspiring to get that Birkin 30 and I will get it at some point, one way or the other. But yeah, it's definitely going to be one of those like, you know, the wow pieces in my collection. I am so done with like Togo and, you know, Epsom handbags. I don't think... I don't think I'll be purchasing these anymore, really. I really appreciate box leather. It's definitely my favorite leather, and I'm kind of aspiring to either stick with the box leather. I like Squift quite a bit as well. And then we're probably gonna be going into the Crocs. But that is, that is a different, that is a different journey. So anyways, this is it for me. I think we've kind of covered, I showed you the back, okay? we've covered kind of important points and perhaps you found this video quite informative. If you do have any further questions in regards to the bag or any, like, I don't know, maybe Hermes related questions, do not hesitate to comment down below and I will do my best to reply to you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.